As more of our fellow citizens are discovering the new Newark and rediscovering the old Newark, they're finding that Newark has some lovely, lovely old homes. And we're in an area which is noted for stately old homes, most of them built in the uh, 1920s when there was this great residential thrust out of the inner city. The city fathers at that time zoned this area for residential purposes only. So you only see, in the main, single family houses of modest to grand stature, as is the case with the White House behind me. Mostly our fond memories are deeply embedded in the neighborhoods in which we live. And this is my neighborhood. We're in Lincoln Park, which is a mid-19th century green space turned residential. It's the last of Newark's three downtown parks. This is 19th century nouveau riche money. To my left um, is the uh, Christian Fiegenspan mansion. He made a lot of money in the 19th century selling beer. Newark was a beer drinking town because it was an ethnic town. And to my right is the John Dryden mansion, which he built for his son. And these two extraordinary mansions surround this very modest mansion that was built in 1903. Did I just call my house a mansion? Yes, I did. <laughs> built in 1903 by, to my knowledge, the first Jewish settler. Every morning, I have a, a huge dosage of public art found in the Colleoni. It's an extraordinarily beautiful, powerful, majestic piece, and it's just outside my front doorstep. There's a statue, uh, again, a gift to the citizens of Newark. The uh, sculptor is Chauncey Ives. It's called the Indian Scene, and it depicts uh, an Indian brave helping two Anglo-American women. It is one of the few statues in the, in the United States which depicts the, the generosity, the benevolence, the kindness of Native Americans. That makes it important.